Hey everyone, my name's Emma. Welcome back, or just welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. So today we are watching the fifth episode of season five of Doctor Who. So it was all kicking off in the previous episode. We had our villains, the Weeping Angels, back just as terrifying, if not even more so than previous time that we've seen them because they're even more powerful this time. So that's just great. <laughs> We also had River Song back again and it was brilliant to see her. I'm really looking forward to finding out more about her, her relationship with the Doctor as well as why she was in prison, what is it that she's keeping from the Doctor about herself and I really want to know when she meets the Doctor that she gets married to and really I'm just quite curious about how this relationship develops in the timeline and what's happening there. So hopefully we find out a bit more in this episode. I'm also very concerned about Amy. In the previous episode, she seen a reflection of the Weeping Angels and it looked like they are in her eyes or just, I don't know if that means that she's going to turn into a Weeping Angel, if that means she's going to die and the doctor has to save her, because I doubt she's dying this early on. I mean, no way. Nah, no way. So I'm excited to have at least some of my questions answered. Probably not everything about River Song though. They might give us a little, but I doubt we'll get a lot. So I did enjoy the previous episode, but because it's a two-part episode, it didn't, it, to me, it doesn't feel like it was a whole episode because we need this part to watch it and watch the conclusion and see what happens there to know if it's like one of those top episodes for me. So I'm intrigued to know what happens next. Thanks for watching, subscribing, liking and commenting. I read all your comments so I really appreciate them. Continue to leave them please. I'd like to know more about your opinions or more facts about the show and you can catch this on Disney Plus or BBC iPlayer. Time to embrace the madness. Here we go. Shit crashed with the power still on, yeah? So what else is still on? What? The gravity. Right, okay. Oh god, that's so bizarre. The Hullies breached and their power's failing. I feel like this might be a moment where I need to cover my eyes. Watching them. Left a song. I've lost good clerics today. You trust this man? I absolutely trust him. He's not some kind of mad man. Then. Well, I absolutely mm. trust him. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're the only one who could manage this guy. That only works as long as he doesn't know who you are. Okay. What does he keep on referring to? Like, I'm actually really not liking him as well. How he's speaking to her. Okay, they did quite well there, and the angels weren't as scary that time. Magnetize the door. And are, are the weeping angels using their minds to move that? And clearly nothing's going to stop them. Five minutes, Max. Nine. Five. Five, right, yeah. Why'd you say nine? I didn't. That's a eight. What did you say? She's, her mind's connected to the angels 100% and they're definitely using her for something. Trees plus technology. It's in a bottle on a spaceship in a maze. Have I impressed oh you? Oh my god. Excuse me. Oh, not again. Angel Bob here, sir. Enough chat. Here's what I want to know. What have you done to Amy? What's in her eye? We are. I thought that and I'm worried now. So she doesn't even realise that she's saying that then um, at all. Five. Oh. Fine. Oh no, no, no. The crack, the crack. Are we finding out what the crack is actually in this episode? Ah, that's extremely very not good. <gasps> they just turn up from nowhere. But I do wonder if the doctor get taken by them, what would happen to him? Oh. I'm about to find out. <laughs> Probably spoke too soon there. 
jinxed it a little bit. And I'll tell you something else. Never let me <laughs> He's dead back there. I'll never forgive myself. He's alive. I'll never forgive him. And doctor, you're standing right behind me, aren't you? <sighs> yeah. I hate you. He and love to the same to the sides of the same coin. Don't even blink. And that is exactly what they want, because as long as our eyes are open, they can climb inside. There's an angel in her mind. Oh god, I was right then. Why are they making her count? To make her afraid, sir. Okay, but why? What for? For fun, sir. Oh my god. We are pure evil. Close your eyes. She's normal, has it? Okay, that, that was a lot easier than like trying to kill her and bring her back. <laughs> Just close her eyes. You put your count down. You cannot open your eyes. We're too exposed everywhere, and Amy can't move. And anyway. But how are they going to get the angel outside of her head, though? Like. Father, you and your clerics, you're going to stay here, look after Amy. Song goes, I go. What? Why? You two engaged or something? Yes, in a manner of speaking. Okay. Again, with not fully giving us all the information there. Hey, me. You need to start trusting me. It's never been more important. Now, listen. Remember what I told you when you were seven? Yes, yes, I know. No. That's not the point. Does he think she's going to die? Because he's really upset right now. Dr. Song is in my personal custody. I was just about to say that. From the storm cage containment facility four days ago. And I'm legally responsible for her until she's accomplished her mission and earned her pardon. What does she do? The date of the explosion where the crap begins. Amy's birthday? Amy's time. Oh, time. Oh, not the lights again. Oh my god. I can imagine going through that and not being able to see anything. Knowing that there's something out there that's going to kill you. Where'd they go? Oh, the angels. This side's clear too, sir. I need to see it. Am I looking the right way? I have to be quick. It's the same shape. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh, that's way too long. That's longer than a second. Hang on. What about the other two? Yeah, she did not wait until the other two come back. What other two? The angels sent before. I didn't send anyone before. Oh no. We have to move it. The angels could be here any second. Oh, never mind the angels. There's worse here than angels. <laughs> I beg to differ, sir. I need to get a closer look at that light, whatever it is. Don't worry, I won't get too close. No. Oh, the light's yeah, drawn them to it. And then it's making them forget. Is it like erasing an existence then? Because that's what it seems like. You can't trust her. Trust who? Never saw her. You think you know her, but you don't. The angels are coming. You have to leave me. I wish I'd known you better. I think so. Oh. You know me at my best. What a brave man. Do you know what? I like him now. <laughs> Content. Amy, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I should never have left you there. You think? What do I do now? It never goes well when you split up. You See, I would not be able to do this because my hearing's all over the place. <laughs> okay, would not want that, okay. So everything that she'd ever did would be erased, everything, everybody that she'd ever affected, it wouldn't have happened. Can he not like go out and get her? Is important. The forest is full of angels. You're gonna have to walk as you can see. Well, what? Do what? You... I think I'd rather not know that. Be what? A big complicated space time event should shut it up for a while. Like what, for instance? Like me! For instance! Don't open your eyes. Oh. oh! Oh! No! Oh 
my god, I've never seen them move. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to see this. That was so last minute. Oh my god, I hated seeing that. I hated seeing them actually move. Okay, nice welcome there. Angel Bob, I presume. I hear. No, I mean it. River, I mean get a grip. All right, okay. Oh, you genius. Okay, so it was an insult then. The angels need you to sacrifice yourself I now. Think they've forgotten the gravity of the situation. Or to put it another way, angels. Oh, this better not be another rose situation because I cannot handle that happening for the second time. <laughs> okay, so is that the crack in the wall dealt with then? The, the angel in your memory never existed. Then why do I remember it at all? Those guys on the ship didn't remember each other. You're a time traveller now, Amy. Changes the way you see the universe. Oh, interesting. And the crack. Is that gone too? Yeah. For now. But how does it relate to Amy though? Because it definitely does relate to Amy. Octavian said you killed a man. A very good man. The best man I've ever known. You'll see me again quite soon. When the Pandorica opens. I'm feeling like she's killed, she's killed a version of him, or a future him, or something. Yeah, so we got absolutely no information apart from why she was in prison. <laughs> she's such a mystery. I just, I just want to show you something. <gasps> okay. Finally, finally. I'm running too. I'm proud of you, Amy, for finally doing this. It's been long enough. Who's the lucky fella? You met him. Ah, oh, the good-looking one. Or the other one. <sighs> what an insult, the other one. Thanks. About who I want. Oh, right, yeah. What? What? No, we're still not getting it. Look, you're getting married in the morning. Amy! Oh, oh my god, Amy! So yeah, I was totally right about that crush then. Impossible, Amy Pond, I don't know why, I have no idea, but quite possibly the single most important thing in the history of the universe is that I get you sorted out right now. What is going on with her? I don't feel like Amy would do that to Rory the night before the wedding, like not without breaking up with him. So there's clearly something there's something not right there with Amy. So, yeah, I'm, oof, I'm, I don't even know what to say, but I really want to watch the next episode now. <laughs> well, I was not expecting that ending there. I mean, what is going on with Amy? Like, I genuinely don't think that that's, that's her or there's something affecting her because even though I did feel like Amy had a crush on the doctor. I don't think Amy would reveal her crush like that at all. I feel like she would end it with Rory first before doing something like that. I don't know, it just felt like someone else and I don't know if it's got anything to do with this crack or or what, but I feel like something else is affecting her. I'm really interested to see the next episode to find out what happens, what happens with her, what happens with Rory. But we've just watched a good episode, so I'm going to talk about that today. So like I mentioned, we had the crack, which has basically been following Amy all throughout her life. And the crack is apparently the end of the universe. So yeah, that's, that's good to know for Amy there. So I'm really curious to find out more there. I definitely think it's something to do with Amy. The doctor did mention that it formed because of some sort of, was it like a big bang event or something like that that happens, that's happened. And I feel like that might be to do with Amy in the future. Even the angels were scared of it, which goes to show 
that the angels are smart. <laughs> I mean, it was wiping the soldiers from existence. We had the soldier that stayed with Amy, not being able to remember anything about his fellow soldiers that went to go see this light. And it was only Amy that could remember. The doctor told her it's because she's now a time traveler and that's why. I feel like, yeah, that's that must be right. But I also feel like, again, there's this connection the crack has had to Amy throughout her life. So there must be something to do with that as well. River Song, we got a little bit of new information about her, but really so many unanswered questions. We got, we didn't really get much. All we got told was that River Song had, well, still is in prison and is sort of working their time off, like a sort of community service in a sense. And that's why the soldiers are with her. And she was, or she is in prison for killing a man, apparently a good man. So that's why I was wondering if it could be a doctor that she's seen in the future that she's killed, but then he would just be able to regenerate. So I don't think it would be that either, but it must be someone, I feel like for her not to tell him who it is, and it being a spoiler, it's either someone that she know that he knows, or it's him, or it's someone that he's about to meet soon. So I'm surprised we didn't get any information on who it was because we've got literally no information about River Song. Even though I like her to be a mystery, it's incredibly frustrating not to have more answers. And now I'm just looking forward to when she's back. We also had this father soldier, the, the man who died, um, telling the doctor not to trust River Song and this is while he is basically getting choked by the angel. So he has he has no real reason to lie. And he did say again that the doctor doesn't know who or what she is. So I'm wondering what that's in reference to. And I actually quite liked him in this episode. He sacrificed himself and I liked how he seemed to respect the Doctor, or at least from what he was saying, he seemed to respect him more in this episode too. So it does make me wonder why he told the Doctor not to trust her, what she did. That's why I thought it might be in relation to the Doctor himself, that maybe something's happened with a future Doctor. But we'll just need to wait and see on that one too. <laughs> I wonder how long we'll be waiting. The Weeping Angels were of course once again terrifying. We actually seen them move in this episode and it raised my fear levels of them a good bit. Just being able to see them move and I liked how they, they did that, how they moved them, it looked really cool. And it was interesting actually to see them speak to the Doctor because that's something that they've never did before apart from these two episodes. So I would say that the Weeping Angels are the most terrifying villain. I mean, they may not be the Doctor's greatest enemy in my opinion, but yeah, they are number one, the most terrifying. There is no other Doctor Who villain that can compete against the Weeping Angels. So Amy, so we did find out that there was a Weeping Angel in her mind, which is what I thought was something along those sort of lines. So yeah, that must have been so terrifying that she had to stand there with her eyes closed, blind, basically relying on these soldiers around her to make sure that the angels don't get to her. And that didn't really fully work either because the soldiers were lured by the light of the end of the universe. And then they no longer existed, so Amy was left on her own. So there was a moment where she did look at the crack and she looked for longer than a second. She she should have been dead or something like that, because that was a good while that she looked at it. I do feel like they could have did more with River Song in this episode, but maybe that's just because I want more information about her. She did teleport and save Amy. I wanted I wanted more dialogue between her and the Doctor, I wanted, yeah, basically I did want more information. I think that's my issue with it. But I did want more scenes between her and the Doctor and her and Amy as well, because I quite liked their um, chemistry that they had in the previous episodes. 
I also thought the moment where the Doctor and River left Amy on her own, um, well, not on her own, but with the soldiers, Matt Smith's acting was brilliant there. His tone, his facial expressions, they conveyed how much he cares about Amy, even though it's it's clearly just as a friend, or a best friend even, because I don't think there's there definitely isn't anything more to it, just from watching them kiss in that uh, last scene. It didn't seem like he was really into it there, but you, you can clearly see how much he does care for her in that particular moment. I really enjoyed Matt Smith's acting in this episode, as well as the previous episode. He has been brilliant. He may not be my favourite Doctor, that still goes to Dave Tennant, but I'm really liking him. I'm liking him more and more. I'd say he's my second favourite Doctor at the moment. He just has such a happy, childlike energy mixed with this compassionate side and scary anger that he gets. But yeah, I think he's brilliant. I need to say though that um, River Song was my favourite this episode, favourite character. Because she's such a strong, confident woman who knows herself and knows what she wants and quite playful with it too. So I really can't wait to see more of her. Overall, I would say this, oh, this and the previous episode, I'm gonna count as one whole episode, okay? It's a whole episode to me, and that's that's how I'm gonna say it as. So it's been my favorite episode so far, above the beast below. So yeah, the only thing that's frustrating about it is the lack of information we were given, but I'm looking forward to finding out a bit more at least about Amy in this next episode. Maybe in the future we'll get more about the crack. And also, I'm so happy that she's finally told the doctor that she's getting married and that she's getting married in the morning, even though it came before she basically jumped all over him. At least she informed him of that. That's another reason why I don't think it's, it's something that Amy would do because Amy seen his connection with River Song. She, she knows that, or she's pretty smart and she's worked out that he's married to her in the future. So, and she quite likes River Song, so I don't see her, I don't see Amy doing that when she knows that nothing would come of it because the doctor gets married in the future. So yeah, something, something weird went on there and I'm looking forward to finding out a bit more about that. I think I'll need to watch the episodes shortly. <laughs> but yeah, so thanks so much for watching another really good episode with some terrifying villains once again that... I don't know if the Doctor's killed all of the Weeping Angels or just this army there. I think we might get them again in the future and I'm looking forward to that too. Probably won't be a while till we get them back. But... The next episode looks like it'll be interesting when it comes to Amy. So I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.